Hey, my name is Hubward and in this video I will show you how to open the Asus TUF A15 from 2020 to install an M.2 SSD or a SATA 2.5 inch SSD or HDD or how to install new or other RAM stacks. So before we start, make sure that you have a small storage place for the screws we're going to open that you have a small Phillips screwdriver and something to pry open the laptop like a credit card or a thin piece of plastic. So no metal parts, please. Then make sure that you discharged yourself by touching your heater or some other object that is grounded in your house or flat. Also make sure that you have the SATA connector in case you're planning to install a 2.5 inch um, SSD or HDD. Once you've completed all these tasks, let's take out the screws and I'm going to fast forward this. By the way, the two screws at the back side of your laptop are a bit longer than the other screws, so make sure that when you reassemble the laptop, you take the longer screws for those two holes over here. By the way, this is the SSD 2.5 inch that I'm going to install. And this is the M.2 SSD that I'm going to install. Now the next step is to take off the bottom of the laptop. And to do this, I will take this plastic card, which I'm never using anyways. And I will try to force it in between the bottom and the laptop, right over here at the front of the laptop, in this small line between those two parts. I will press the card in between and slide from left to right. And then I can pry open it with my hands. Gently, but don't be afraid, you won't be able to break anything if all the screws have taken out. Now once the laptop is open, we put aside the bottom and the first thing to do is we disconnect the battery for safety reasons, which will be done over here. So. We disconnect that gently. We don't want to break anything. Okay. All right, now. Now as you can see over here, below this black piece of plastic, we have our system M.2 SSD, which usually has your Windows or Linux installed. On the other side over here, we have the port for the second M.2 SSD, which has to be a 2280 M.2 SSD, meaning it has to be 22 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters long, because otherwise it won't fit. To install the M.2 SSD, we simply open this screw over here. Press down this cable because it will be below our SSD. And then we gently insert the M.2 SSD inside of, the SS, uh, inside of this slot and make sure that it's properly inside because otherwise the connections won't be able to transmit anything. So you can just use a bit of angle and a tiny bit of force but not too much so we won't break anything and then the card or the M.2 SSD will just stand out a bit and then you can press it down until it perfectly fits with the screw hole and then just re-enter the screw and tighten it.
Now make sure that over here the SSD is really inside of this black plastic part and you don't see a lot of the golden connections over here. I will try to zoom in to show you what I mean. Okay, now the RAM is placed right over here. Below this black piece of plastic. And to change the RAM, we simply release the RAM stick with these two metal parts over here. You just bend them aside and then the RAM will come up and you can take it out and replace it with the RAM stick of your choice. But I'm not going to do this, so I'm going to re-enter it. Just press it down. Just slide it back inside of the connection and press down. So we're going to leave that for now. Now for the M.2 SSD, first make sure that you open up the sled, release all the screws, this metal sled over here, and take it out. We were going to need this in a bit. Now you take your SSD and you place it inside like this so that the screws fit right over here with the bottom of the SSD up facing you. If that is not possible because the screw holes won't fit over here, that means that your SSD is too high. It's not supposed to be higher than 7 millimeters, and you can find that out before buying an SSD, usually in the specifics of the SSD in the online shop or wherever you buy it. If not, then don't buy the SSD because it won't fit inside of this laptop uh, if, it's not, uh, if it's higher than 7 millimeters. And don't try to install it without a sled, because if you do that, you won't be able to close the laptop again. The problem is that with a too high SSD, you might be under the impression that you have to install it like this, so the upper side of the SSD facing you. Um, but then if you place it back, you can see that the connection for the SATA over here is too far away from the connection on the main board, and that will mean that your cable is too short. So, make sure to install it like this, and I will use two of the screws to fixate the SSD. Okay, if you do it, do it careful and use all four screws if you like. Usually it's tight enough with two screws, but better safe than sorry, right? But for this purpose, I'm just using two screws. Now the next step would be to first insert this little cable inside of the connection with the mainboard because it's going to be hard if you do it later on. So you open up this black plastic lid over here. I don't know if you can see it, I'll try to zoom in a bit more. And then you can slide it inside and close the black lid, okay? Next you can connect the cable with your SSD and place the sled back inside of here. And now you can fixate the SSD by re-entering the screws and tighten them again. Now before we close the bottom again, make sure you reconnect the battery before doing that and don't forget that because otherwise your laptop won't turn on. Okay, now that we've done this, we can close the bottom again by gently pressing it down on the laptop. But don't insert the screws just yet. Test the drives or the RAM before you do that, just in case something is not working as intended, and that will save you some time. If everything is working though, insert and tighten all the screws and enjoy the rest of your life. If you, on the other hand, enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up or a subscribe to the channel. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye and tschüss.